year ago, this photo was everywhere. An image of Osama bin Laden killed in a raid by US forces. But of course, both the video and the image were fake. That image didn't come from a camera, it came fresh from a computer. But how can we tell the difference? At Argence France Presse AFP in Paris, one man has developed a software to help distinguish untouched photographs from their technologically doctored cousins. For a press agency, knowing the difference is vital. The lighting on Hillary Clinton has been modified. The medals on the military personnel have been highlighted. The face of President Obama has been relit on the side which originally was quite dark. So it's a shot which looks like it was taken spontaneously, but in fact it's been touched up to conform to the official line. The software is called Tungsten and was designed in 2009 in response to requests from the French army and the press. It doesn't handle classic analogue photographs, but given a digital image, it knows exactly what's what. A fake Iranian missile, too many funeral mourners in North Korea, Tungsten reveals every trick in the book. Our aim is to thoroughly dissect the file and get the maximum information from it, straightforward things, purely mathematical things, and then we try to reconstruct the history of the file. And in this story, there could be the moment where someone has modified the file. Photographic manipulation is familiar to the public. It's easy with computers. So it's important for AFP to have a tool so that they can have the most accurate idea possible on the authenticity of the images we publish. Here is an example of using an optical filter which shows up the diffusion of the light. Here, our expert has deliberately added a third plane for training reasons. The program picks it up immediately. We see the traces of turbulence behind the first two planes very clearly. We see the hot gas behind the planes and also their shape conforms to their makes. In contrast, behind this third plane we see nothing. That means that physically the object isn't inserted into the environment. When we look closer, we realize that the third plane, it's the same as the one at the bottom but just copied and pasted here. Having passed all the tests, the program is now being exported because it's also useful for police forces. A few weeks ago, its inventor was invited to Switzerland by the police force there. Detectives are anxious to present real, untouched photos to the courts. We rely increasingly on images in our work, in particular images which come from security cameras, from our own services, and also those we find on social networks, where we find that some people don't hesitate to film themselves committing crimes and then put the images online. In a world which is swimming in images, it's a big market. Tungsten has only just begun.